de-escalate. No. De-escalate. De-escalate. Why are you pushing me? Thank you. What are you doing? You're assaulting me right now. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. First Amendment shenanigans here. Well, today we're going to check in with one of the biggest dirtbags on the internet, NC Tyrant Hunter. He's hanging out with Russell and, uh, you know, his little crew of dirtbags. And they decide that we're going to go bother nice bus drivers. Bus drivers are people who do not get a lot of credit for the job that they do. If any one of my subs has been a bus driver, my hat is off to you. It is a tough job. And just like teachers right now, it's an understaffed job. We have a busing shortage in this country. And we need as many good drivers as we can because they make sure that our kids get to school on time and safely. The last thing they need is some stupid frauditor sticking their camera in their face bothering them. So let's take a look. All right. We, uh, uh, at the transportation center here in Detroit, Michigan. These people shouldn't be encouraged. They should be punished. This isn't art. This isn't even entertainment. This blows. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for any help. Thanks, though. What, what you offering? Hey, what you offering? I got an offer for you. I offer to throw you and your dirtbag buddies back in the dumpster where you came from. That's my offer. What are you offering? What are you offering? Are you offering something? What can you help me with? If you ask me, I don't know. What can you help me with? I can help y'all get off of this problem. Make me get off of it. Bye, Daddy. See you later. Yeah, make me get off of it. Hey, y'all come out here, bro. You walked up oh, here. Who threatened? Are you no. hearing shit? Who said don't be dumb? Hey, don't disrespect that cross on your neck either. Are you threatening me? I didn't say a word. What? No, you didn't say anything, because you know you would get your ass kicked by this guy. This guy would pick you up and toss you back into the dumpster where you came from. You would know if I threatened you, I Big Daddy. Don't be dumb. You would know if I did. Oh, that's a threat right there. Come yeah, on. What? Come on, bro. Come on. Did we ask you for anything? Why don't you just get back in your bus and leave? Yeah, just take off. You don't tell me. Oh, you so you disrespecting that cross yeah, on your neck? Yeah, I did. You disrespecting that cross. Take it off. Boy, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> he got a big ass cross as big as that bus, and he's going to cut F bomb us. He going to F bomb us. Hey, we don't have a problem. They get smart. They How are they you getting smart? Phone, you the one that you started know, yelling. I'm not trying to argue. You tried. Oh, you started yelling. You started yelling first. What do you want? Dude, we don't ask for nothing. Y'all want confrontation? That's no, you, you do. I told you I didn't want no help. Bust them. Oh my! You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that, cuz. Go, come on, try to bust mine. You ain't the only one, kid. Come on, try to bust mine. Try to bust mine. That's why y'all smart ass. I dare you. I dare you try to bust mine. I'm smart ass. I dare you. I dare you try to bust mine. This bus driver knows exactly who these dirtbags are. And this is a prime example why you can't rile around the mud with pigs because you're going to get dirty. It's best to just let it go and walk away. Because all these people are doing, all NC Tyrant Hunter is looking for, is a reason to sue the school districts, sue the town, sue everyone, just to get some walk away money. It's disgusting. He's trying to be a thug or something, talking about busting something. Okay. 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 Yeah, he and he's a transportation guy. He drives that bus. I mean, come on, come on. He's the one that started it. He's the one that started cussing. It's 
the only thing he said that I agree with. He has nothing going on, nothing happening, nothing professionally, nothing personally. This is his every day. His every day is pissing off people and hoping, crossing his fingers, that somebody pushes him, breaks his stupid cell phone, punches him, so that he gets to sue. That's his every day. He's the one that started with the F bombs and stuff. Okay. We didn't do that. Y'all have a good day. Okay. We didn't do that. All right. Have a good day. I'm having a great day. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you need to get rid of that fool. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you need to. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Hang on, let me explain something to you. What's going to happen is I'm going to put this on YouTube. I got 100,000 subscribers. They're going to know about that fool right there. Are you some kind of moron? I love how NC Tyroner calls someone a fool, but then uses the worst grammar I've ever heard in my life. That's incredible to me. And yeah, he's got a ton of subs, but he doesn't have that many views. So I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe he bought a bunch of subs. Who knows? And it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're a piece of garbage that puts people on blast on YouTube. Like, does that make you feel like a big man? That makes you feel strong? You know what makes me feel like a big man? Being a good person, helping people, helping strangers. That makes me feel like a big man. What about you, Dancy Tyrant Hunter? Your YouTube view count? It's pathetic. I'm walking down a public sidewalk, minding my own business. I mean, we did. If he hadn't got out the bus, nothing would have happened. Yeah, he just had to dri just drive off. That's all he had to do. That's it. Do that. That's it. Yeah. Wow. What the hell is it hiding for? Got him driving a bus? I mean, come on, Bo. That's the last. You want to drive a bus? Right. Talking about, yeah, he got a talking about getting his. He he's talking a, about. He, he said, got "I got one in the car." Yeah, he's threatening to go. Ain't gonna, gonna do your bit right now, cause. Yeah, when he grows up, he's human like that. Right, right. Yeah. So now he, he ain't got the right temperament to be a bus. No, car. hell no, not at all. Not at all. Again, the irony of three brain dead losers who do not have jobs criticizing someone who does have a job. A tough job, actually. A job that not a lot of people want these days. And it's absolutely incredible that these three turds stand on the side of the walk judging anybody. See, that's all you had to do is wave. Every, all you had to do is go by and wave. She waved that. That's all you, all you got to do. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Here they come. Here they come. With light. With light. Oh, I got to get my... I can't get loud. My phone's in the car. With light. Can you go get it? Where is it? It's in the, it's in the seat. Here they come. With light. Fuck. There's more coming. Look, look, wide open. Look at them. What in the hell? Code three, really? Really? That was that was crazy. Hi, gentlemen. Hello. What's up? What's going on, guys? You doing? Ain't nothing. Ain't yeah. nothing going on, man. We're just out here recording. That's all. Oh, he's gonna park in the middle of the road. God oh, damn. We shouldn't block the lane of traffic. Jesus, like that. man. Okay. Yeah, we great. Man. Yeah, you don't need to block traffic, man. What's your name? I seen you coming with your lights on. I was like, damn. What's your name? Emergency? I can't see it. Your pocket's down. Um, Gene. J E A N. Gene. Gene. Officer Gene. Badge Gene. number 31. Thank Badge you, sir. Appreciate that. Welcome, man. Very well. Appreciate yeah. it. No, they, we just, we just walked down the walking sidewalk down. and the bus driver flipped out because flipped we wouldn't answer out, the question. Dude, he, he started cussing at us, so we, I, we cussed back at yeah. him. Yeah, I understand, I yeah. understand. But you they guys were, aren't doing anything wrong. I beg to differ. Thank you, thank you for honoring your oath. I appreciate that, Gene. Hey, ask me my name. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, Tater Salad. Tater right, Salad. Right there, see, right there. 
<laughs> He's taking a salad. It's right there. He's still blocking. It's right there. It's right there. I don't understand, but why? Can you answer me a question? And I'm not trying to start no confrontation or nothing. Why do that right there? When there's so much other places to park, man. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? I mean. It's just don't make, to me it don't make sense. Somebody wasn't paying attention, come up over them tracks too fast, might you know? be rear ending. Uh, can you, can you answer that? If they were phone or texting, and you know people Can, can do you that. please answer that question? I actually cannot. I mean, but you do it too, I'm sure. I, I have, yeah. I mean, but... but okay, just, he don't even have his lights on. Are the back lights on? Are your emergency lights on on the back? Yeah, they're not working. It's uh, a violation. Well, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> you shouldn't block a lane. Hey, if yeah. somebody come over that train track Gentlemen. really fast and wasn't Thank you, Gene. Uh, did you, somebody get his name? Vehicle, What's his name? It's probably pretty high. Yeah, you got I appreciate you letting you know that. Please turn the lights on. Right. Hey, we just want you guys hey, thanks, to stay guys. safe hey, there, man. Appreciate thank you. Thank you, guys, for honoring. Thank you for honoring our First and Second Amendment rights. Yeah, man. I like it now that it's more. Acceptable in today's society. Yeah, yeah, what was your name and badge number? Oh, it was Gene. Badge number 31. Uh, who was that? Do you know him? What's his name? Yeah, Officer Mench. Mench? I don't know his badge number. Oh, okay. What was his badge number? 14. Yeah, right, Have a good day, All right, man. man. Thank you for following your Edge number was 15. I appreciate that. Hey, be 15. safe. Yep, Mench. 15. And that was Gene. See, they thinking somebody's getting locked up. Look at them. Oh, yeah, they was waiting to see somebody go and tell Yeah, yeah. Slam yeah. to the ground, maybe. I heard him educating them over there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, was he? Okay. Good. You lying? Good, good, Yeah, I'm lying. Turn that camera around here. Turn that camera around. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> So this is the part of the story where the scholar gives the people who actually have jobs the finger in triumph. And now they're all going to, all three morons are going to go down to the Waffle House and exchange videos and, you know, pet each other on the head. Him, Russell, and whoever the other dirtbag is. These people are absolute scumbags. They are the bottom rung of society. Especially N.C. Tyron Hunter and his crew. A, a lot of them are, are a-holes. Some of them have other jobs. These three people, I'm not even going to call them men because they're not men. These three people are absolutely useless scumbags. And they all deserve in, to be in jail. And yes, they weren't doing anything illegal. They were on the sidewalk, whatever. They, they know exactly what they're doing. They purposely put themselves in situations where they know they can't get in trouble. And it's going to just piss off regular people hoping that someone takes a swing at them. And somebody will eventually. And they're going to get sued and, you know, whatever. You're going to make these pieces of shit's day because that's probably one more day they don't need to work. They could just keep living off the government dime and, and sue money. So it's going to happen eventually. We'll be here. I, I can only take so much of them. So I try not to cover him as much as I can. So, hey. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next one. Please keep liking and subscribing. You guys enjoy your day. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans.